OP hangs out with his ex's cheating partner. I am 24 arrived from work three days ago to find my girlfriend laying in bed with another guy. My initial response was to freak out and ask what was going on. When I asked what my girlfriend was doing in bed with another guy, the guy flared up in disbelief, shaking and looking at me frantically before yelling out, Is your boyfriend? My girlfriend turns around to say she planned to tell him. I could only help but feel bad for him. He had no idea, and she was the only one at fault here. Under rage and complete disappointment, I had the urge to kick them both out, but I ended up only kicking out my now ex-girlfriend. I told the guy to calm down and told him to stick around. I assured him I wouldn't hurt him, and to prove that, I offered him a beverage, which he accepted. We ended up talking, and it turns out she had mentioned she was single and had no plans for a commitment. At this point, he was still panicking. I'm obviously still furious. Deep down, even though I know he's not guilty, I still couldn't look him in the eyes, yet I felt some sort of pity. I couldn't just kick him out of his super awkward and uncomfortable moment. I managed to be nice by putting myself in his shoes. He ended up leaving more relaxed and relieved. I didn't intend on hurting him. It's safe to say I'll never see him again. But I think I at least made the right choice despite having my world upside down. Comments. User. Same here. I pictured them watching the sun go down from the front porch, sharing a drink, and talking about the meaning of life. Hash 42. OP responds. Not far from the truth, honestly. We sat in my backyard, and I just asked him what had happened, so y'all's imaginations really aren't all that far off the truth. The entire thing didn't last more than 10-15 minutes though. Update. I finally hang out with the guy my ex cheated on me with. You read the title right, and no, he had no malicious intent. He came back to thank me, and to bring a few things. It turns out my girlfriend has been giving him presents. He brought them to me to ask if any had belonged to me since she had been a liar and a cheat to both of us, and it turns out some did. From cheap rings to necklaces I had, lost, he had them. She had been giving stuff of mine to him as, presents, and pretending she had bought it for him. He offered them back to me and asked if I wanted to get to know each other better. I agreed, and now I've got his contact information. I'm planning to meet up with him and get to know him better soon. These were his words. The last few days I haven't been right with myself. You showed me mercy and kindness, and I gave nothing in return. Any other guy would have me in the hospital or worse. Comment from OP. To clarify. I have no intentions with him. I'm not curious about same SX relationships. I just want to talk to him about the situation. I don't know how long it went on. I don't know how they met, etc. I'm curious and besides, he seems like he'd make a good friend. Update 2. This is the second update regarding my initial situation. Me and him met up today for lunch, and we talked about how it all started and how long it went on. It made so much more sense. It started back in July of this year, when I wasn't home and was visiting family. She took advantage of the fact that I wasn't home to find another man. He was super nice to me once again, saying that if he had ever known I was in the picture, he wouldn't have done anything. I asked how he didn't know about me. Considering I owned my own house, and she lived with me, he told me that she had lied, and said she lived with her parents, so he couldn't visit initially. They'd meet up elsewhere like malls, coffee shops, and so on. All this likely happened when I was at work or too busy. I trusted her enough not to track her every movement. I'm not controlling. He said it started when she approached him at a bar near where I live. They had a night together, and she left contact with him shortly after. I'm appalled at how easily she went out and did that. It turns out he even asked her at the very start if she was in any situation that would cause issues. She said no, and he showed me proof on his phone. He kept all the text to prove that he did ask, and that he had no clue that me and her were a thing. I'm still furious, so I did the pettiest thing I could. I took a photo of the food me and him got together and intentionally posted it to my story with him in the frame. I got a message from my ex shortly after, asking if that was him. I won't be answering. I just want her to panic a little. I deserve a little harmless revenge. We both laughed at it and agreed to keep in contact. For now, this is where the story ends. I have no further curiosity or questions for him regarding this situation. Edit. If Reddit so wishes, I can still make updates on our friendship and normal lives. Considering so many people are invested, I'd hate to cut it short for some of you. Update 3, titled, Both My Ex and the Guy That She Cheated On Me With Played Me. Two days later 7 from Og. Remember all the posts I made regarding my situation, talking about how this guy I showed kindness to could potentially be someone great, someone different, and someone I wanted to be friends with. Scrap it. As a fellow Redditor mentioned, his story didn't really match up. 
He said he never met her at my house because she lied and said she had to live with her parents, yet I found them in my bed. I confronted him about it yesterday night, and he fumbled it, stuttered, and couldn't get words out, so I knew something was wrong. I continuously asked for him to just spit it out, which he did. They were working together. He knew about me all along, and they lied for each other on the effing spot. He only stuck around when I told him to, because he saw an opportunity to get information from me and get something out of me. I refuse to believe this started in July. It's likely all a lie, and I've probably been playing for years. There's no way two people lie for each other like that on the spot after a few months of intercourse. They had way more. Everything he did, even the stuff he brought back, was her idea. So I wouldn't charge her anything in the future if I were to find out. In the photo, she acted surprised to not give it away. But in reality, she knew from the start that when he came to my house, she wanted to snoop around and know about my life despite not being in it. He took my kindness and did everything wrong that he could. I'm furious. I'm lost. I didn't get anything out of this. In fact, after everything that could have gone wrong, stuff still continued to go wrong. I'm unsure of how to cope with this at all. It was all a lie, and well, no bromance or best friend for me, I suppose. Edit. I failed to mention he genuinely showed no remorse. He admitted to it all after I pressured him and proceeded to hang up the phone in the middle of my turn to speak. I'm not even going to bother them, but I am annoyed, and the worst part about it is that I have nothing I can do for them. I can't just get violent or burst into rage. I'm better than that. But it hurts, not because of him because I barely knew him, but because it's just so much at once. Comments. OP. Ewo. Thank you for saving me from a nightmare. I wouldn't have noticed the discrepancy had it not been for your observation. I can't believe I was so blind. Another user. Dude, you will be just fine. If anything, you should be proud that you didn't degrade yourself to their level. You proved you are a man of high caliber and quality, and they proved they are just people of the lowest standards. I like Ewo's advice and second it. Smile every day and live your life to the fullest. If you need a reason why, remember these. You didn't make an arse out of yourself when presented with a dog who cannot have the balls to even get with a single girl and showed true mercy to a person who didn't deserve it. That shows and proves you are a man of high quality, dignity, class and status. Not a Neanderthal fake alpha boy who can't even act like a real man. 2. You have the knowledge to know that no matter what, she will always have a sense or paranoia that you might seek revenge, even if you don't say it or imply it. She knows that you know and cowards like her will always think and fear that you will retaliate. You have that power over both of them always when you look at them, and they know it, but you choose not to do it, which will eat at them every day. 3. You found out before marriage that kids and other financial ties were linked between you and her. You got out of this clean, and she gets nothing from you. So many people have lost their lives and well-being because of their spouse's actions to cheat and take away everything in a divorce. But she did you a favor and showed you this side of her before you committed to her. You should be thanking her for cheating because now you won't have to waste valuable time and assets on her anymore. Plus, if she has to steal from you to try to keep a new man, it shows how pathetic she is and how much of a loser and failure of a woman she is. So smile dude. Smile and remember these things every day, and you will be better. You will find someone better, and now you know the signs for future reference. Also, never befriend the affair partner dude. Simply block and drop both cheaters and sing their sins loudly and proudly to the world. Take care. Editor's note. I could not find the comment from user Ewo for context. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.